Good afternoon. My name is Dominika Maszczyńska and I'm in the Honiman Museum. And today I'll be playing a concert on a harpsichord from 1772. It's an English instrument by Kirkman. I will start the concert from playing the first movement of the sonata in F major by Joseph Haydn.
The next pieces I'm going to play will be two sonatas by Padre Antonio Soler, uh, who was a Catalan composer and organist. Um, he was a really interesting man, very busy and disciplined, and as far as we know, he didn't need much sleep and he would go to bed at 1 a.m. finishing his duties and then he would wake up at 4 a.m. for the morning mass as he was a priest. Uh, he wrote numerous compositions, among them were keyboard sonatas that resemble the ones by Scarlatti. I'm going to play sonata in C major first and then another one in C minor.
The next piece will be a rondo in D minor by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach, one of Johann Sebastian Bach's sons. And Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach was a great composer and his music is full of uh, different characters and sudden changes. It can be really dramatic and spectacular, but it's also very sophisticated. Thank you. 
The last piece that I'm going to play will be by another of J.S. Bach's sons, Johann Christian Bach, known as the London Bach, as he spent some part of his life in London. Uh, the piece is going to be a sonata in D major from opus number five. And what is interesting about this set of sonatas is that Mozart arranged three of them, including the one that I'm going to play, as keyboard concertos.
My first meeting with the harpsichord was when I was learning modern piano and I had some continual classes. And my original plan was to continue the classes, but I was advised not to do that. So then I stopped for a few years. Uh, then I went to the Academy of Music and to study modern piano. And then I think in my third year, I took forte piano classes and I became really interested in historical performance. So since then, I'm specializing in historical keyboard instruments, mainly harpsichord and forte piano. Well, I start from choosing the repertoire, then I make sure that I have access to nice editions of the pieces that I'm going to play. And then I start practicing. I practice a lot. And at the end of the process, I usually record myself and listen back to it so that I can change some things that I would like to play in a different way. Performing in front of other people can be really challenging. And personally, I think it's very important to remember to breathe and it really helps to stay relaxed and focused. I usually spend a few hours a day at the instrument, uh, but I think that the amount of practicing time itself is not as important as uh, being able to practice in an efficient way. Sometimes pieces include dynamic markings such as forte and piano, for example, so loud and soft. And for forte, I would use the lower manual. And for piano, soft, I would use the upper one. Sometimes it doesn't tell me in the music what to do, but I decide to switch the manuals to make the music more interesting. I usually play different kind of historical keyboard instruments, such as forte pianos, harpsichords and organs, uh, but most of them are modern copies of historical instruments. And the harpsichord I played today uh, is an original instrument and I find it really fascinating to play on the original historical keyboards. I think it can feel really magical to be able to play an instrument that someone in the 18th century would play. <laughs> 